Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on uh, predicting concrete strength using scikit-learn machine learning library. These are all the key steps involved in this uh, machine learning development process. In this tutorial, we are going to explore uh, each one of them in detail. First, let's import the libraries. So NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib are uh, used for general programming purposes like uh, array and matrix operations, data reading and writing purposes, and for plotting purposes, etc. The next is the scikit-learn library. Scikit-learn is sometimes also called as a sklearn library. It is a open source machine learning library that provides uh, a wide range of tools and algorithms for uh, machine learning and uh, data analysis tasks. Uh, it is widely used in the fields of uh, data science, machine learning, and uh, artificial intelligence for tasks such as classification, regression, clustering, dimensional reduction, etc. It is a great choice for uh, prototyping and uh, experimenting with machine learning models in this tutorial, we import uh, some functions from this um, sklearn module or library such as train, test, split and uh, linear regression. We use this uh, train, test, uh, split for uh, data splitting purposes and uh, linear regression for uh, building the machine learning model. Next, this uh, joblib library. Joblib library is uh, used for uh, saving the developed ML model and uh, reading it for future prediction purposes. So first, let's read the data using pandas read excel function command. So this data I have downloaded from this UCI machine learning repository website. So I have given the links here. So you can use the same for uh, downloading this data that I used in this tutorial. So I have downloaded this data and I kept in my local directory. So this is the data. So it looks like this actually. When I read this Excel file into uh, Python, so the data frame looks like this. So it has uh, eight input features and one uh, output feature. And the eight input features are uh, cement quantity, blast furnace lag, fly ash, water, super plasticizer, coarse aggregate and fine aggregate quantities, age in days. And the one output quantity is the concrete compressive strength. Our objective is to predict this particular uh, concrete compressive strength for the given set of uh, these input features. Let's convert the pandas data frame to a NumPy array for usage in uh, scikit-learn library. So I am using this uh, df.2 NumPy function to convert this data frame into a normal NumPy two-dimensional array. Next step is um, uh, the model building and training step. So within that, first we have to split the total data into uh, two sets of uh, data. The first one is the training set and the second one is the testing set. So we are using this function train test split function of this uh, scikit-learn to split this uh, data. So X and Y are the input and output features and uh, the test size is equals to 0.2 I have specified. This 0.2 represents I'm using uh, only 20% of this total data for testing purposes and the remaining 80% of the data I'm using for uh, training purposes. Um, and then we are specifying this uh, random state variable. This random state uh, variable or parameter is used for uh, controlling this random shuffling of the data before uh, splitting into training and uh, testing data sets. Uh, it is a very important variable because before splitting the data, the old data is uh, randomly shuffled. By specifying this uh, random state variable to a specific value, for example, 42, the data will be shuffled in the same way every time you run the code. If you change this value, then it will shuffle in a different value. But if you use the same value every time, so the data shuffling happens in the same way. This is particularly useful for uh, debugging and ensuring that your results are consistent. Uh, it is a common practice to include uh, the value of random state in your code or a documentation if you want to share your analysis or machine learning workflow with others. This way others can reproduce your results exactly. For example, if you set um, this random state to a specific integer, for example, 42, and then split your data, the splitting will be same every time you run the code with the same random state value. This helps in making your machine learning experiments more reproducible and uh, consistent. Let's create an object of uh, this linear regression model. So I'm calling it as simply model. So I'm using uh, a fit function of this uh, model to fit the linear regression model to the training set. So X train is the input features and uh, Y train is the output feature. When we issue this uh, model.fit, 
a linear regression model will be fit into this data. Next, you have to test the developed model. So to test the developed model, we are going to use this uh, predict function. This predict function takes one argument. That one argument is the input features of the testing set. So that is X test. When I specify it here and uh, issue this command model.predict, an argument of X test. So it delivers the predicted quantities of compressive strengths of concrete. Uh, here I plotted the predicted values of uh, concrete compressive strength against uh, two sample quantities such as a cement quantity and a blast furnace slag just to see how far uh, our predictions are matching with the real test data so this is it here if you look at here our predictions are uh, uh, very well matching with uh, most of the content but of course there are some uh, uh, data where our predictions are uh, not very well for example here and uh, here so this is the best we could get with a simple linear regression model so the results are uh, not very impressive but in our future tutorials we are going to improve this machine learning model to get uh, better predictions but for now uh, the demonstration purposes this is all we could get for a linear regression model with basic settings let's see how the concrete compressive strength is um, comparable against uh, the other input features such as uh, fly ash water plus super plasticizer coarse aggregate fine aggregate age etc so i made a similar plot against uh, all other parameters so this is how the scattered plots looks overall the predictions are um, okay decent not that great and at the same time not that poor so you can use this uh, machine learning model for uh, basic prediction purposes where uh, the stakes are not that high once the machine learning model is built so we have to save it for future uh, prediction purposes so as i said before we are using a, a special library called uh, joblib for doing this purpose so i am using this uh, concrete underscore linear underscore model as the file name so this joblib dot dump will save this um, machine learning model that we built into this file name concrete underscore linear underscore model dot pickle so when you issue this command so you will see a special file uh, with the name that we issued in the code is saved in your local directory so i issued it and uh, i got this one next we are going to load the saved file and uh, use it for uh, predicting the concrete compressive strength so for this purpose i imported some of the uh, general purpose programming libraries and uh, joblib library as well these are the general purpose uh, programming libraries and uh, this is our joblib library so i'm just uh, loading that uh, model file using joblib.load so here the machine learning model that we previously saved is loaded into this uh, notebook as model we are going to use this for uh, prediction purposes so i'm defining a two dimensional array uh, with some uh, random input features such as 500 for uh, concrete compressive strength, 100 for uh, blast furnace lag, 50 for fly ash, 120 for uh, water, 20 for super plasticizer, 1200 for coarse aggregate, 800 for fine aggregate and 28 days. So here I am predicting 28 day compressive strength of the concrete with these constituent materials. So when I issue this model dot predict with this input feature i got 79 mpa that's it this is how you develop this uh, machine learning model for the given concrete compressive strength data using scikit-learn machine learning library if you have any questions or suggestions we recommend you to please write them in the comment section below the video if you like our content please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel happy learning thank you